Hello and welcome to our next video. In this lesson, we're just going to go ahead and install Microsoft Expression Web 4, a free version. And you don't need this, but this is just one that we could use, and this is the one I'm going to be using going forward. So you would just click on the download link, which of course would then give you a download. I've already done that to save a little time. And once it downloads, you'll want to go ahead and open this up and do the install. So as this goes, what I'll do is I'll often pause and just return. If you're at a point where something is loading or building, just go ahead and pause the video. And when it starts and resumes or some dialogue pops up, start the video back up and we will continue with the install as well. So here we're just gonna of course give permission. And of course this is on a Windows machine. Uh, if you're using a different machine, you'll need to find a different solution or an editor that works on your specific machine if, if Microsoft Expression Web doesn't work on your machine for whatever reason. So once again, as this continues to load, I'll pause and you can go ahead and pause the video. And when dialogues pop up or prompts come up, then go ahead and restart the video and we'll go ahead and do that together. So here we're just gonna read through the end and select accept and let this go. And we don't need to be part of the improvement program since it's free, I'm gonna go ahead and select yes. And we'll install Expression Web 4 and let that go. And we'll see you in a few seconds when this is done installing. And our Expression Web has completed, so let's go ahead and select finish. And then once that happens, we can then try to run the program and make sure that it does work on our machine. And that wraps up our installation of the Microsoft Expression Web 4 free version. And this is the editor that I will be using for the videos going forward. And you'll see when that does pop up then, you have the full entire editor in front of you and you have the ability to select Expression Web as the default HTML editor. You can go ahead and do that or decide not to. Depends on how you wanna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and select yes for now because I'm going to be using it a lot. So let's go ahead and select yes and we're ready to go. Thank you very much, we'll see you next time.